Hi YouTube, this is Coin Picker here. Uh, these are some of my um, garage sale, yard sale, thrift store, uh, swap meet finds uh, since the summer. Just didn't have a chance to make a video of it until now. Uh, these are two spoons, silver spoons, uh, made by the Whiting Company, which uh, end up being bought out by the uh, Goring Silver Company. And they are from 1889 and if you can see the uh, maker's mark there and it's sterling silver uh, I paid about forty dollars for uh, both of them and um, just the silver content is almost sixty dollars but of course there's some antique value but they did not look like this when I bought them uh, they were black and tarnished and I got that from a swap meet during my uh, traveling and these two souvenir spoons, uh, I'd say about 10 grams each, um, also sterling silver, European. Uh, got them for a dollar each from a thrift store. They were mixed up with some silver plated stuff. Let's see if we can get a close up here. If you could see 800, meaning 80% silver. Usually, uh, they usually do that in Europe, that kind of um, marking. And this one is sterling. And um, I'd say this one is missing part of the uh, little, uh, I guess, identifier. But this one's okay. Uh, I would say value, this one is probably just for its silver value, which about, I'd say about six, seven dollars. This one, still a bit collectible, I'd say about ten, ten, twelve, thirteen dollars. And this, I got at a yard sale, well, slash estate yard sale. And it looks like some sort of jelly mold made of copper. It's very heavy, at least a pound. And I just offered them, it was on the table in the yard, uh, and I just offered them a dollar for it when they took it. Um, now, I've seen these online, but most of the time they're thin um, uh, sheet copper. But this one is actually cast. I don't know how old it is. I'm assuming maybe from the 50s. Uh, if anyone out there knows anything about this kind of uh, stuff, uh, please comment. Please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. There's no markings at all. It's definitely copper. So for a pound of, of copper, I mean for a dollar, I mean just the, the metal value alone was approximately three dollars worth. So can't go wrong with that. And this last thing uh, I got just a couple weeks ago uh, from uh, my local thrift store. I think it was uh, uh, Salvation Army thrift store. Uh, it was mixed in with the cutlery, and it is uh, part looks like uh, from some part of a uh, carving knife set. And um, what really caught my eye was the handle is made of cellulose, which was basically uh, uh, I guess an early form of plastic. And it was basically to replace um, ivory, because you see, uh, you can't really see here, but uh, it looks like ivory, but the, um, the grains are too regular throughout. And uh, what's really nice is, well, what really tells its age besides the handle um, is that uh, the fitting underneath the uh, steel uh, sharpener uh, has some marked silver. Let's see if I could get a close up on here. So it's sterling silver. Uh, these are British uh, silver marks. And I believe it's from the 1880s, according to my research. So I got this for 99 cents which I thought was a pretty good deal.
And these are my finds. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin picker out.